Joining us tonight, for years, EMS providers have answered our calls and saved our lives, often without pay, and it's causing their numbers to go down. Now a bill sponsored by Senator Tina Smith aims to change that. Sophia Jernander takes us to New Richland to hear from local EMTs about the struggles they've been facing and how this bill could come to their rescue. For years, EMS providers have been our secret guardian angels. They're first on the scene of an accident, they answer our 911 calls, they're often the people who save our lives. But in rural areas, most of them aren't paid. The, the rate of volunteers in our smaller communities has gone down. As industries have left the smaller towns, as jobs have left the smaller towns, it makes people less available to go on calls during the day. While this problem has been largely ignored, it's now being brought to light by Senator Tina Smith. Today, Smith's director of outreach in southern Minnesota was in New Richland, where she spoke to several EMTs about the problems they've been facing. If you are transporting somebody, um, Medicare does not um, reimburse. If you are taking somebody to the hospital, the Medicare reimbursement is so much below what the actual cost is for the service. Smith is sponsoring a bill that will provide just that. Titled the EMS Rocks Act, it has already been introduced in Congress. The EMTs say that if the bill is passed, it will greatly improve their situation. I'm trying to find the funding to, you know, serve our communities is the issue. Ultimately, while this bill will help rural EMTs, it's not about the money. It's about helping these dedicated heroes continue to serve their communities. The reason I'm still in it and I enjoy it each day is going to the grocery store and seeing that person that I saved and walking up and they give me a hug and tell me, you saved me. In New Richland, Sophia Jernander, KEYC News Now. So far, the bill has bipartisan support in the U.S. Senate. It would also need to be passed by the House to be signed into law.